Hey guys, it's Mr. Aaron, and this week in Epic Kids, we're going to continue learning about the early church and the spread of the gospel by looking at one of my favorite stories in the New Testament, when Paul met Jesus. In Acts 8 and 9, when we first meet Paul in the Bible, he goes by the name of Saul, and he believed so strongly that Jesus was wrong that when one of Jesus' followers, Stephen, was killed for believing in Jesus, Saul just stood by and watched. He was not a fan of Jesus, the church, or the Christians. In fact, he thought all of these Christians should be arrested and thrown in jail. Now in our story today, we're going to see something amazing happen while Saul is on his way to arrest a group of Christians. I'll give you a hint. Saul's life would never be the same after this. Let's watch. After Jesus died, rose from the dead and ascended to heaven, people in Jerusalem who believed in Jesus were persecuted or treated cruelly because of their faith. One of Jesus' followers, Stephen, was even killed. A man named Saul had watched in approval when Stephen was killed. Saul wanted to put an end to the church. He went into the believers' homes, dragged them out, and put them in jail. Many believers fled the city. Saul headed to Damascus to arrest believers there, but on the way, a bright light from heaven suddenly flashed around him. Saul fell to the ground. He heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. I am Jesus, he replied. Get up and go into the city, then you will be told what you must do. Saul got up and opened his eyes, but he couldn't see. So the men who were traveling with Saul led him by the hand into Damascus. Ananias, a disciple of Jesus, lived in Damascus. The Lord spoke to Ananias in a vision. He told Ananias to go to the house where Saul was staying. Ananias knew that Saul had hurt many believers and that he arrested anyone who believed in Jesus. But the Lord said, Go, I have chosen this man to take my name to Gentiles, kings, and Israelites. Ananias obeyed. He found Saul and told Saul that Jesus had sent him to help. Ananias put his hands on Saul and Saul could see again. Saul got up and was baptized. Huh. For the next few days, Saul stayed with the believers in Damascus. He began to go to the synagogues to preach about Jesus. Saul told the people, Jesus is the Son of God. The people were amazed. They recognized Saul and knew he had wanted to put an end to the church. Now he was one of them. The Jews did not like Saul's message. They planned to kill him, so one night, Saul left the city. The disciples helped Saul escape by lowering him down the city wall in a basket. Saul was also known as Paul. Jesus appeared to Saul and changed him inside and out. Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. Jesus called Paul, who was once an enemy to Christians, to spend the rest of his life telling people the gospel and leading them to trust in Jesus. Wow! So when Paul met Jesus, he was blinded and had to follow Jesus' instructions to get his sight back. But that wasn't the only exciting thing. Paul went through a whole life change. He recognized that Jesus is the real deal, our Lord and Savior. He began to go to wherever people would listen and tell them that Jesus really is the Son of God. Jesus changed Paul from the inside out, turning him from an enemy of the church and the gospel to someone who spent the rest of his life sharing Jesus with others. That reminds me of our big picture question. Why does the church exist? Well, the church exists to glorify God by worshiping Him, showing His love, and like Paul at the end of our story, telling others about Jesus. So if someone like Paul, who once hated Christians and wanted them arrested or killed, can be used to share the good news of Jesus, then we can definitely share Jesus too. Hey, see you guys next time.